We will install the MDT or Mendel development tool using Python 3 and its package manager pip. So the first thing you need to do is to check that you have Python 3. You can see that on my machine, on this Mac, I have Python 3.7 installed. And then to install the MDT tool, we can copy the command from the Coral DevPort Mini Getting Started Guide. So let's paste it here to the console and let's see what it will do. It will run the Python 3 pip package manager and install for the user's environment, the Mendel development tool. So let's execute that now. And if everything goes fine, we should be able to execute, for example, MDT help. And we can see what we can do with this command. MDT is used to communicate between your host computer and the development board. You can do things like query the local network and see if the tool can identify ports that you can connect to. You can also push SSH keys to the board. You can MDT shell, which is basically an easy way to SSH into the board. You can push and pull files, so transfer them between your computer and the development board. And you can, for example, reboot the development board to the bootloader if you want to flash its operating system image. But then a note, the MDT tool uses the TCP IP network to communicate between your computer and the board. If your host computer is Linux, Windows 10, or Mac before Catalina, you can use the USB-C cable connected between your computer and the board, and there will be a TCP IP network locally running through this cable. So you can use this cable to communicate between your machine and the board. However, ever since Mac OS Catalina, this USB-C TCP IP network doesn't work, so you will need to use a workaround which involves using your local Wi-Fi network between your host computer and the board. Okay, now that we have MDT installed, let's see what we could do next. One option is that you could see how to flash the board's operating system image. Or if you're on Mac OS Catalina or later, you can see the workaround using Wi-Fi network to connect to the board. Or you can see how to boot the board for the first time to its operating system.